Hi friends, uh, welcome to the Transformation Unlimited YouTube channel. Um, your mentor uh, Jay Prakash Nath uh, has invited uh, Mr. Yes Sunil Kumar, CEO of uh, Winnest and Siri Dharani. Uh, he is a certified financial planner who can guide us to plan our funds in a proper way. Today he is going to talk about emergency fund. Let me welcome Mr. Sunil Kumar. Uh, welcome to you, Mr. Sunil Kumar. Good morning, uh, Jay Prakash sir. Good morning. Uh, uh, good morning. Uh, see, uh, we normally call this emergency fund. The name itself is suggesting that emergency. What type of emergency, Mr. Sunil? Uh, emergencies can be in uh, various forms. Uh, the classical example I would love to give is nobody anticipated uh, the COVID-19 you know, it was totally unprecedented or unexpected, I would rather say. Uh, well, uh, something like this, very unforeseen circumstances we have to meet in life. Uh, we have to be prepared with a certain amount of corpus to face these kind of challenges. Now, what happened if you if we look at, uh, you know, uh, case studies one by one, how it impacted the lifestyle of uh, all of us. For example, we were forced to shut down all our business and uh, can be confined to you know our homes now this didn't happen one year this happened twice in fact unfortunately and then all of a sudden businessmen lost their you know regular income similarly people who were employed you know were asked to uh, work from home or they were given you know uh, you know some people were laid off unfortunately uh, so this kind of uh, you know unprecedented you know unexpected uh, things happened you know not just in india across the globe because yes. covid was uh, a pandemic uh, which affected not one continent but all continents unfortunately mm -hmm. so and we were all you know we know the popular buzzword then was lockdown so it was not just uh, lockdown of businesses it was lockdown of life for most of us so a lot of us went into crisis especially this affected a lot of people, you know, on a daily uh, wage labors, you know, uh, you know, even for basic needs like roti kapda, people have to really uh, worry. And a lot of people came, so a lot of social organizations, NGOs, you know, uh, came forward to help people who are totally dependent on day-to-day -day basic requirements of like, like roti kapda, Ajay Prakash. So emergency fund is nothing but if we have a certain amount of funds as emergency fund or exigency fund or contingency fund, if we can set aside at least for six months. So when there is something like this unforeseen okay. circumstances, Lord, I will have uh, emergency fund to meet these kind of requirements, these kind of challenges, these kind of unforeseen you know, uh, circumstances, consequences, which we all have to face. Uh, Jay Prakash ji. Oh, okay, so, see, uh, where we have to park this uh, six months amount? Okay, this is another very beautiful question, uh, Mr. Jay Prakash. Yes. Uh, there are funds like, you know, overnight funds, uh, something like liquid funds, something like short-term income funds, something like mid-term income funds. These are very similar to fixed deposits and recurring deposits but this is put into mutual funds. Uh, these are very principle safe and these can deliver better than bank or uh, almost on par with bank returns, but with better taxation. Okay. So this is uh, you know called uh, liquid funds basically mm -hmm. or short-term income funds. Uh, so this is where one needs to part. Uh, so mutual fund has a product for every kind of a uh, you know, a sequence, every kind of a scenario for every human being, for every, you know, uh, it, we, we call it customized. So it, it can fit into any kind of an individual. So that's the advantage of uh, mutual funds. But unfortunately, in India, uh, mutual funds, the financial literacy in this country is still 5%. So a lot of people are still not aware what is a liquid fund or what is a contingency fund or what is an emergency fund. Uh, okay. Uh, see, uh, normally, COVID type of uh, symptoms or uh, virus will come once in a century. But whereas the job loss or the business loss may occur often. What do you say? 
Yeah, that's uh, this is see COVID is just one you know example which I gave, but there are other kind of challenges which you know we as human beings keep facing. For example, you only just mentioned job loss. All of a sudden, you know, you are asked to go to a different place, or you know, unfortunately, you have been stuck with some sort of a disability, maybe a temporary disability, or sometimes even a permanent disability, or something like a very uh, challenging uh, disease might have come. You know, uh, there are a lot of uh, for a businessman. All of a sudden, you know, uh, weather affects his business. Uh, sometimes, you know, a war like Ukraine Russia uh, has impacted. In fact, countries forget about individual. Very unfortunate. You see, all of a sudden, crude oil prices have shot up across the world. Yes. Uh, you know, we all came to know from something from this Russia-Ukraine war that India was dependent on you know a uh, lot of electrical equipments, war equipments. In fact, uh, the beer uh, industry had a big blow because a uh, lot of wheat was coming from this country. Uh, simultaneously, look at the uh, Indians who are basically uh, went to study to pursue their medicals. Now, so medical industry was, uh, you know, nobody was aware that 30,000 Indians were there, you know, pursuing, you know, their medicals in Ukraine. And what happened was very unfortunate. So they were forced to come back. So a lot of money lost. This, these are all, you know, emergency examples what I'm trying to give. Now, so we have, we as family, we have individuals, uh, we as corporates had to be prepared for these kind of unforeseen challenges which life might throw on us uh, anytime, unexpected, you know, challenges, I would rather say, Jai Prakash. So if you have six months kind of a corpus, uh, whether it is a job loss or a business loss or a natural calamity or a war or a catastrophe, or it can be in any form, the, the emergency can be in any form. So if you are mentally prepared, more than mentally, you know, economically prepared, then it will make you mentally prepared. So <laughs> that's all, Jay Prakash. It's important uh, okay. for us to do the uh, corpus. Yeah. Uh, if you are prepared economically, you said uh, it is like a mental preparation also. Uh, mental stress can be avoided. Uh, we can avoid a lot of uh, tensions. Um, and of course, uh, many people will go for depression also. So we can avoid all these uh, health hazards, isn't it? Yeah, correct, Jay Prakash. Okay. Uh, so you just brief me about uh, Winnest, uh, your company. Yeah, uh, thank you so much for asking this question once again, Jay Prakash. Uh, Winnest is basically an uh, organization which is into financial services, financial domain for the last 17 years. We started you know, um, this industry way back 2005, and we have come a long way, Jay Prakashji. Uh, you know, uh, we, by the grace of God, we are capped into around 1,500 to 2,000 clientele across the world. Uh, thanks to COVID, today we have clients in Kazakhstan, we have clients in Northern Ireland, we have clients in Germany, in Poland. The, the, the previous day, I was talking to somebody in Dhaka. So likewise, US is very familiar because a lot of people who are working in India today, they have migrated to US. So we have a lot of clientele in US. So we are basically, uh, you know, catering to across the globe today, like, you know, typically in Canada, there is a saying, Vasudeva Kutumbam, right? You know, yes, so yes, it's yes. one uh, word. It is uh, one yeah, word. Yeah. Even I want to share an information. Today, I was just observing the YouTube analytics. Yeah. Around 32 countries, uh, uh, people are watching our YouTube channel. I was amazed oh. to observe. So you will also reach to so many countries also, Sunil. Okay. And, and, uh, my privilege. My privilege. Uh, a brief about uh, Siri Darini. What is this? Certainly. I will just take another two minutes to explain how it all started and I will go to Siri Darini also. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so the journey started in 2005 uh, from, you know, I was just a freelancer, but I come from a business background. Uh, I, I could not stay as an individual. So I floated uh, an organization, a uh, private limited, uh, somewhere in 2009-10. Okay. And I also did my uh, certified financial planner. Uh, in India today, there are only not more than 3,500 certified financial planners. I'm proud to say I'm one of the uh, certified financial planners, Jai Prakash. Good. So by the grace of God, we are handling close to 200 crores in diversified asset classes. This is the money, the wealth of people, what we are handling. Right? And we are creating crorepatis and billionaires. We have a vision in our organization that you know, we want to create some you know, 200 to 300 crorepatis and we also want to create 
a villainous uh, of same you know of a similar number that is 100 to 250 people that's the target what we have for 2030 and you know we are we are in a blessed economy unfortunately india is still a financially illiterate country only 5 to 7% of the population are financially illiterate so there's a huge population there's a huge opportunity in the financial domain right so uh, basically this is a financial service industry and we have a long way to go okay. i also would love to say we are not just you know into finance we are also into life domain we are also into health domain you know as we are also already into wealth through financial domain so simultaneously you know uh, jay prakash you said what is siridhani siridhani is also a, a, a twin asset class organization where we manage uh, farm lands so on the one side it's a real estate that is a physical as asset class on the other side it is also a commodity because we are growing timber right okay. that is wood right you know in the form of commodity which can really uh, create a lot of crorepatis there so timber in the form of sandal which is legalized in the country today and similarly timber timber in the form of you know the tissue culture teak or the kannada name for that is thega the english uh, name is uh, tissue culture teak or the botanical name uh, also is burma teak which is of a very high value uh, what if you basically grow and uh, you know stay invested for beyond 10 years so it can fetch you a very good amount of uh, you know value so this is how we are into twin asset classes today a real estate combined with commodity okay okay because okay. that's about siridhani started 7 8 years back okay so uh, we are uh, growing a plantation across 15 acres the vision of the organization is to make it as big as you know 100 acres and to grow 1 lakh trees that's the vision okay. what we have similarly in winners private limited we have a vision to become one of the leading start after you know wealth creators in the country right we want to be among the elite uh, you know group uh, where we are uh, known for creation of wealth you know and compounding and uh, you know uh, growing exponentially so that's uh, that's it's a very noble uh, cause in a noble industry yes. right yeah can you please share your mobile number yeah my uh, my accessible number is 9448 Seven two seven zero six, Jay Prakash. And let me repeat this: nine double four eight four seven two seven zero six. Friends, uh, I am observing Mr. Sunil Kumar since seventy uh, eight years, and I am very happy to introduce uh, him to all of you because he is the one who is doing business in a sincere way. and uh, his motto is to see that uh, his customers uh, has to become crorepatis how many crorepatis you have done so far by you know by the grace of god we have around 1500 clients there are at least uh, 150 to 200 people who are on the verge of becoming crorepatis all started from scratch the <laughs> all started from a very basic investment of even 5000 rupees okay people who have started and who are on their way towards uh, becoming crorepatis uh, Jai Prakash, that's a vision. What we have, anybody who comes to us, you know, we take a oath that you know we will educate, create awareness, create so much consciousness in them that you know they should attain the crorepati status. Today, crore, you know, crorepati status is not something very uh, you know great because uh, Bangalore is giving birth to a lot of unicorns. That means Unicorn. it is achievable. It is achievable. Yes, It's India achievable. today has uh, close to ninety uh, unicorns. Uh, today. Unicorn is the buzzword, uh, uh, Jay Prakash. Let me throw some uh, lights on what is unicorn. Okay. Unicorn is like you know you and like uh, people like you and me who start a company and who make it so big that it becomes a hundred US dollar company. What is the meaning of hundred uh, US uh, billion dollar company? Uh, you know, is seven thousand five hundred crores in terms of Indian currency. A company which whose valuation is worth seven thousand five hundred crores. And today, I think so. Uh, Bangalore being one of the startup capitals, you know, Bangalore is one of the leading uh, producers of these unicorns. People in the age group of just you know, eighteen to twenty-five, thirty, have become billionaires in no time. They start a company, they float a company three, four years, three, four years, and they take this company to the extent of becoming, you know, a seven thousand five hundred crore in Indian currency and a billion dollar, you know, in terms of US, uh, you know, US uh, dollar status. So this is how, you know. The, the the unicorns are born today. For example, uh, there is Zomato or uh, the Swiggy or you know or very recently, you know our own uh, 
Oxygo Financial Services Company became a, bill, a unicorn. Similarly, uh, one lady did a, a miraculous and a marvelous and a fantastic job by name, Palguni Nair. The company's name was Nika, which became you know one of the unicorns. A lot of unicorns. Uh, every uh, every every week, one uh, one unicorn is born in India today, or probably two are born. So this year we are anticipating some 150 to 200 unicorns in India. So that's the power of this beautiful country, power of this nation, because we have 140 crore population. You know, Jay Prakash, uh, the average age of India is 29. We are a consumption-driven economy. And there is so much positivity in this country for us to flourish and to become wealthy, you know, Jay Prakash. Okay, good. Uh, so thank you very much for sharing your uh, experience as well as your knowledge about the finance. And I thank all the uh, viewers of uh, YouTube channel. If you are not subscribed to our YouTube channel, Transformation Unlimited and Jay Prakash Nakhtarli, please do subscribe right now. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.